Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the contingents from the Bida Emirates, Niger States, led by the Alhaji, representing His Highness, His Royal Highness, the Etsut Nupe of Niger State. If you watch this, you will see their wonderful display. A Tunipe and Niger State display group, that's what we have here. And you can see there's somebody on a horse there, beautiful decorated. Royal horses, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, let's go, man. Come on. We have uh, 30 royal horses and we have the uh, 8 Sulupe one. We have the 8 Sulupe contingent and the Niger contingent and uh, they have their and it's been led by the Niger, St uh, Niger State SA, Niger State Liaison Office, who's here, Al Haji Mohammed. And uh, watch, look at them properly. They call them the Royal Horses. And you will. Uh, I'm going to take one of these sea bobo dancers away with me. The women dancing are sea bobo dancers. So they can see a bobo like me or something like that, you know. <laughs> the sea bobo dancers are the ladies, that's what they're called or that's what they're referred to. And you can see the royal horses. The Galadima Rapa, the chief of the Etsu Lupe, is also here with them. Oh, wonderful entourage. And the Koboya masculine display is also there with them. And these are the Sibobo ladies. You can see them actually rolling their waist. These are the masquerades themselves. Uh, there's somebody on top of the house there holding uh, some sort of royal staff, I guess. And uh, I don't know what that signifies, but Peter. And that's the royal staff. It symbolizes the spear they used during the royal wars. And it's also important to note that the royal horses are well taken care of. If you can look now, you can see someone cleaning up the tracks and making sure that all the dung has been taken off the tarmac. The royal horses are treated as royal, and even their dung is treated the same. And ladies and gentlemen, these are royal horses of the Etsu Nupe. And you can see the lovely riders all cladded in their beautiful turbans of white, lilac, green, and other royal colors. 30 of them, great figure, not an easy one. And you can see the horses galloping in royal rhythm. The riders too look also poised. Princes, you can presume, 
Because if you have to ride a royal horse, then you yourself have to be royalty. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the troop from Niger. And of course, the royal horses of the Exit Nube fade away. We'll have approaching another cultural band, which will be rightly introduced by my colleague and friend, Okan Peter, as he introduces the next cultural group from Nassau State. Okay, thank you very much, B2 Brian. As um, the contingents fade away, we have the next contingents all the way from Nassau State, and they are known as Anzalu that dance. All the way from Nassau State. You can agree with me that the cultural attire they're putting on is a beautiful one because it has a whole lot of beautiful colors from red to white. I hear most of the costumes are made from porcupine. I'm sure you can see the hearts on their heads and they are ready to give us fun all the way. made from concubine. This is creativity at its peak. You listen attentively, I'm sure. You will like the sound from the leg bangles. I've, I've heard that what they're wearing is actually from baboon, from the baboons. And uh, that's why, of course, that's why they look the way they look, you know. And uh, they have chisels, feathers, and all that to hold the stems. And that's actually lovely. Sorry, this is Anambra State. Anambra State. Ati Logo dancers. I remember that when I used to be much younger. The Ati Logo dancers from Anambra State, very energetic people. They're actually very energetic. And uh, at the logo dancers. Watch that. I used to see that many years back. Very acrobatic dancing from Anambra State. energetic exercise if you ask me to say but like it is it's done with so much joy and a lot of relaxation very flexible I'm sure if I do that for two days I'll be probably trim you know <laughs> Somebody's in there. Somebody's in there. This is from Anambra State. Oh, here comes the boy. Beautiful. Ah, still with so much energy there. This Atilogo dancers never change. With time, they never change. They actually never change. Oh, 
course there, thank you very much, Anna Brasted, thank you. We're moving on because we have lots of uh, displays to watch there. And you know, Atilog is a mixture of both male and female. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. All the way from Benway State. Enjoy it. I'm sure they're ready for us. Let's see what they've got. Like, like Okan Vita rightly said, these dancers are from Benway State. You can see them clad in their traditional black and white. It's called the Ange. With their horse tail in their hands. And they're doing the Swange dance. The swangy dance, very, very carefully crafted dance. It takes a lot of agility and flexibility for you to be as still as a serpent and as curvy as the water bank as you follow the drummer's rhythm. It is particularly worn by the tea people of Benway State. Black and white are the colors. These colors also find their way into Cross River State. The people of Obudu in the northern part of Cross River State also rock the white and black colors, properly called the Ange colors. The Godfather? Bitcho, I know these are your people. That's why you're talking about all the colors. And this is really nice, you know. I. I I love the white and black thing, you know. And uh, the dance step is uh, easy to catch up with. If I go there, I'll pick this up in one day. You know. <laughs> well, Peter Tanks, I hate somebody got for I don't think um, it is easy as you think. It requires a whole lot of rehearsals for you to be able to do that. Beautiful color, mixed with a touch of red, a touch of white, a touch of black on your neck. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ben Westay. Thank you very much. We're moving with time, please. Let's continue the movement. Thank you. Thank you. Also, coming up is another one. I'm sure that's some form of salutation or something. Thank you, Ben Westay, ladies and gentlemen. The Shange dance. States, you can see the dance. There they are. Thank you very much, Ben State. Let's move it on now. Let's move it on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up now is Plateau State. 
This is uh, from Plateau State next. Is the Afizele Terawa Cultural Dance Troupe from Jos, the capital of Latu State, Nigeria. They are captioned the home of bees and tourism and they are extending their tranquility and the tourism of their dance to crossover states in this beautiful display by the futures blowing their flutes all down their calories. You can see them all jiffy and jipey and dancing in circles while the drummers carefully drum in the middle with a beautiful melody blended with some fine flutes and the rhythm of the drums and the dance that accompanies it. Very energetic, all timely and well synchronized dance steps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Afizere Jarawa Cultural Dance Troupe all the way from Joss the capital of Latu State. Thank you, thank you, keep moving up. Because of time, we have to move on. Thank you. This looks like you reverse to me. Oh, your state, am I right? Okay. Oh, your sense identified with the Bata dance, which is a more serious dance. This dance actually needs to be learned properly. This is from our your state, of course, otherwise known as the Yorubas. And that's dance step you're seeing. You have to go through proper training for that. This is their dance I like a lot, which I haven't seen yet. They want to dance and roll and roll and roll. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's a woman there. That's a woman and a man there. My goodness. Thank you, thank you. A round of applause for your state. They're being followed there by... We have the next contingent all the way from Enugu State and they are here to present Ikorodo as well as Achikoro. Enjoy it! All the way from Enugu State and I'm sure you will agree with me that they are putting on very lovely attires a mix of yellow and deep blue and of course red head tie or head gear Archie
Thank you very much, Okan. And Ugu dancers with the very vibrant, energetic Achi Kolo dance now. Aha, uh -huh, that's a dance on there. Very energetic. It takes all the body muscles. And yet she keeps her face smiling ever to the rhythm of her dance. The dance that they call it Titan to. Okay, thank you very much, Enugu. Thank you, thank you. Time to go now. Aha. Uh -huh. And there you go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's have now the next troop now. Thank you, Enugu. And the Apoluche War Troop, all the way from Abia State making their presence felt at the Cultural Parade 2017 right here at Mary Slessor, Judges and Judification Point. These are customary warriors from Abia State and I'll be having some help on the MIC now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a salutation to His Excellency, the Digital Governor of Cross River State, Senator Professor Barrister Ben Ayade, from the Abia War Troop, saluting him and also making their presence felt with their warriors, without shirts, doing the traditional war ritual dance with the ever-rotating war trough on his head. I'm told that trough never leaves his head until the battle is won. And then the traditional capo, whichever town they conquer or village is conquered, is added to the ever-rotating trough on his head. Thank you, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I like about this? Look at the body movement. You know, that's beautiful, isn't it? I think Bijo should be a part of that because you got the bills already, so. <laughs> Thank you very much, Abia State. Thank you very much. We're moving on. Thank you very much, Abia State. Thank you, Abia. Thank you. Here they come. Here they come. Looking just like us. Now let's listen to their display. Beautifully dressed. And from the looks of things, they are ready. So hold up, please. Aha! Oh yeah. Let's go. You have. Uh... Let's see how it rolls with our quite bomb state here. Yeah? I can see all the judges actually looking at them. Adjudicators, it all seems to be set. 
And this is beautiful. Thank you very much, Aquaibon State. You got two more minutes. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Aquaibon State, thank you very much. Let's move, let's move, let's go, let's go. Thank you, let's roll, let's roll, let's pull up. Thank you. Aquaibon, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And go sit next, ladies and gentlemen. And go sit royal dancers. Royal dancers from Edo State. The Royal Dancers from Edo State. Aquaibon, thank you very much. Thank you. Edo State, Wado, Abi. Aha. Edo State now. On display. Let's take our time and listen to what they're singing. It does stick now. Hey, do state. Hey, do state with their beads, very lovely beads there. I hear that's pretty expensive. Uh, you know, Edo is full of royalty. But I don't know if these are the royal dancers. Well, from Edo State, beautiful dancers. You have three more minutes, Edo State, please. Three more minutes. Or less, that's better. Edo, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Edo State. Thank you. Thank you, Edo State. Coming up next is uh, River State. River State. Thank you, Edo. River State next. Thank you very much, Edo State. River State next. Now watch it now from River State. I'm actually looking for the most flexible state, flexible dancers. Here we are now in River State. I like the white attire, which is a sign of cleanliness. Thank you. 
very much, River State. Please, let's move it on. Thank you very much, State. Uh, River State, thank you. Uh -huh, that's a dance step I like. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. River State, thank you very much. Airboy State next. Airboy State. Thank you. Airboy State now. Rivers, thank you. Airboy State, please take your place. Airboy State, thank you very much. Let's take a look, good look at the Airboy State costumes, their colors, and of course their dance steps. This is quite energetical. This is called the Edega Dance. Yes, like rightly said by the Godfather, this is the Edega Dance, particular to the people of Eboyi State. You can see the agile young men, very flexible, taking their dances. Aha, there they go, rhythmically jumping, jiggling very fast fits. For you to be able to dance this dance, you have to have very snappy and fast fits. Thank you everyone, you say you have little less than three more minutes. Little less than three more minutes. I'll quickly we sum it up and wrap it up. Quickly sum it up and wrap it up, thank you. And there you have some acrobatic display. The two young men been lifted up and hoisted by their arms and been held by this very agile young man with so much vegan stamina. You can only watch and marvel. And there you have a little boy acrobatics being hoisted over to the shoulder. They stand side by side and even when then he's hoisted up He's now standing at nine feet tall. Standing at nine feet tall. What's the next thing that's going to happen? What's the next thing? Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Salutation. And there you have him chopped down. Eboni, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Move it. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud them. Show appreciation. Thank you, Eboni. Everybody, thank you. The state of the countryman governor, traditional to the hearts, and there you have their staff. Uh -huh. Okay, the dance, so much agility. Ladies and gentlemen, making his entrance here, we have the essay to the digital governor of Cross River State, technical architect Eric Williams Apple, making his entrance here at the judge's identification point. You're welcome, my essay, sir. The River Rhine people of Bielsa with your very River Rhine dance. All the tranquility that comes with leaving by the waterside. Bringing to the fore their dance that tells the story of their rich oil lands but yet the impervished nature of the people who have deprived of their rich oil. The countryman states by Elsa State, Nigeria. By Elsa, thank you. You have a little less than three more minutes to go. Thank you, by Elsa. by Elsa State. Thank you. Thank you by Elsa State. 
Your time is up. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. By also states. actually fed very well so they're heavier than the women coming up now looks like something from the Yoruba land Eko Eko Akente Lagos State thank you very much As ladies and gentlemen, making their presence felt, we have the contingents from Lagos State. And there you have them in somewhat like a showcase material with the beaded necks taking the Faji at the time. It's an OABE something. the fine gentlemen taking their dance and there you have it the normal gesture people say I to ballet for you when you go flat on the ground to show 
respect to your elders in that part of Nigeria. Uh -huh. There you have the Ileke Shekas, beautiful ladies, wiggling their backsides to the rhythm. And now they pair up as a couple, are coming with what we have the nuptial dance at Moats wedding ceremonies. Lagos say thank you, thank you. You have a little less than two more minutes. Lagos, wrap it up, wrap it up. A little less than two more minutes. Lagos, thank you, thank you, Lagos, thank you. And if I'm not mistaken, up next we have the contingents from Sokoto State. Before we have Sokoto, we'll take our shoe. Thank you, Lagos. Thank you, thank you. Up next we have the contingents from Oshu State. And then they come in with the traditional talking drums. The talking drums are set to always always say a lot only if you can pay attention with a keen ear and listen to the melodies and the great message carried in the drums. These talking drums are from our shoe stage and they usually make their entrance before we have the traditional dancers from our shoe stage. Uh -huh. Now you have the dancers coming. A two beautiful dancers frontlining three very agile young gentlemen, all dancing to the rhythm of the talking drums. And I must tell you, the people of Oshun are always very proud of their fabrics. You can see them wearing the proud African fabrics. And the men are wearing the cap which we call the fila. These are traditional caps particular to the people of Oshu State. Uh -huh. and there you have it, the rhythm of the drumming is getting more intense and so is the dance steps. To match the vibe of the rhythm, you can feel the energy of the drums and of course, the well-orchestrated steps of the dancers. Oshu, thank you, thank you. You have a little less than two more minutes. Wrap it up, thank you. Thank you, Oshun State. Oshun, wrap it up, wrap it up, let's go. Oshun, wrap it up, wrap it up. And there you have some very Redemic couple dance. You find them pairing up male and female and dancing to the rhythm. Oshu, thank you. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Oshu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Oshu. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have them all the way from Sokoto State. All the way from Sokoto State. Oshu, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Sokoto State. The traditional Fulani dancers of Sokoto State. These are the nomadic headsmen, particularly renowned for their cattle roaring and their Fura the Nono. I believe these are more peaceful nomadic cattle wearers. The Fulani dancers of Sokoto State. Yeah, you have them with the calabashes on their head. This is what they use to scoop the fura the nono from the cows to make milk for you. And there you have the nomadic cattle wearers dancing behind their ladies with their cattle wearing sticks. 
and they're very jivey dancing, bubbling and hopping from left to right, like the cattle themselves, all the way from Sokoto State. These are very great Skatoreras, wonderful people. Thank you. I like them because it's a very rich culture. You have three more minutes to go, please. Thank you very much. Sokoto State, less than two more minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, just to bring to your notice that the Fulani people of Sokoto have a very worrying tradition as regards their marriages. If you can see the sticks these um, nomadic cattle men are holding, they actually use it to test who is a real man when it comes to marriages. If you want to marry their daughter, you have to lie down and take 12 strokes from this bamboo. So if you want to marry from Sokoto, you might just change your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, up next we have the contingent from Evo State, the Godfather. I think you should marry from there because you look fit, you know. 12 strokes. What do Now we are in Evo State. Evo Kwanu! Evo Kwanu! Praise Watch it now. It was a cultural display from different parts of Nigeria and they're all well represented here in the capital city, Calabar and we're right now at the Maurice Lesser Avenue of the uh, Celebration Actually today's a boxing day but from where I see it I don't think we'll be boxing I think we'll be having a lot of fun watching the different cultures in their different uh, colors, shapes and sizes. After this lovely state, we'll be moving to Lokoja, Kogi State, that's where we're going. Thank you very much. You have two more minutes. Thank you. Thank you. He must say thank you very much. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Why the